Greetings, mortals. It is I, Shadow Blackheart, also known as your Dark King. And today we're playing some surrogate. This game, believe it or not, was made by my group of friends that you've all seen on the channel. This was made a long time ago before I met them. Uh, voice acting, I believe, is uh, in this game. But this was made by Crex Games, also known as Crex, uh, Crex Comics. A friend of mine named Logan, uh, Sean, also known as Sneaky Shadow, and Creepy Uncle Vito, which is just Vito. I forget who else voiced in these, but um, I believe uh, my friend Jared, also known as Scoods from the Phasmophobia videos, have uh, worked on this game and everything as well. Vito, I remember from, I think, previous recordings, I can't remember which one it was, that I was told by Vito not to play this one because he was afraid of what I would think about this entire game by itself. The game itself is not that long, so I could probably beat it in one session, to be honest. But, um, I got curious the more I heard about uh more I heard about it. I can't remember all the details itself. But now that I'm actually now that I actually got it um now that I actually got it, I'm about to play it and try it for myself because I was told by Logan because he really wants to see me play it and see what I think. But um if you guys want this game Go ahead. It, this game is on Game Jolt. <laughs> so that way you guys can try it for yourself. Without further ado, my minions, sit back and please enjoy the show. After another day of me working overtime at work due to the same person calling with the insane tired excuse, I was finally heading home. Ready to just retreat some leftovers from, uh, I said, ready to reheat some leftovers from the night before, sit on the couch and watch some trash TV and finally go, to, okay, man. After being on the road for about 10 to 15 minutes, the weather decided to give me a hard time, but I was driven this time, uh, I was driven the same road for years, so as long as I drive a little slower and more cautious, I should be home before too long. And that was until I came across a tree in the middle of the road, more likely falling from the storm, but it was reaching from one side to the other of the road, so I couldn't drive past it. Almost as if the clouds were parting, giving me a ray of hope, there was a detour I could drive down in hopes that I was uh, way around. So instead of taking the longer route home, I turned to uh, took the detour. Okay. Now, for the years of my heading home this way, I have not once went down this road, so I was totally, uh, it was totally new to me. This being such a rural area, I was getting no signal on my phone. After, most, uh, after almost an hour of driving along the same stretch of the road, and needless to say, my anxiety started to rise. At this point, I would be happy running across the house. Okay. Right. Almost as if my wish was granted, as long a long driveway came to view, and there was a better. Okay, almost as if I was expected. Oh, yep. Oh, see, so okay. So if you recognize from my. Um, if you guys recognize from my uh, thumbnails or pictures in the videos that I've used, this is the same art style, like I said, that is by uh, Logan, who had help with creating this game as well. Okay. I shouldn't go in the streets. Beat up trash can looks uh, still heavily used. Huh. 
I'm gonna do that just to be. Oh, so the guy's name is Frank. Okay. Wow, this house is huge. All right, I better go see if anyone's home. I wonder, is there a... I wonder, is there a way to dash? Just in case? Because you wouldn't put a dash in this game. Unless... I mean, you're intended to walk everywhere, or unless... Some bullshit is gonna happen. I'm amazed that you even attempted to make a game like this. I hope that somebody's awake. I would really feel bad if I woke someone up uh, this late at night. Well, here it goes. Here goes nothing. Mm-hmm. Maybe they didn't hear it. I guess I'll try one more time. Yeah, they must be... Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, I decided to buy the miss. Uh, do you know, uh... Do you know... Okay, dog, I'm sorry guys, like I said, it's you know, it's Saturday, it's like kinda like early in the uh early in the day still for me. Um hi, I'm sorry to bother you, miss. Uh do you happen to know a way through these back paths to get to the highway leading to Interstate 32? Any directions? Okay, I like the way you did the uh, style for this girl, dude. Uh, yeah, just to get back home, uh, so just to get back to the highway. Ah, yes, I know how. But please, do come in. You're trenched. Uh, alright. My name's Nancy, by the way. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you, Nancy. I'm Frank. Just have a seat. Uh, I'll have your directions written out in just a moment. Okay. But in the meantime, I just got done making our family house. Uh, I can't talk. Family house. <laughs> I just got done making our family famous tea. Care for some? You know what? Sure. I probably made a grave mistake here, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. She seems nice. A little odd, but nice. I don't know how, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably just tired. Yeah, you and me both, pal. Uh, Here you are. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. Try it. I knew it! Is she dragging me? That bitch. Uh, what the hell? Where where am I? In an uh in an attic? I I need to get out of here. I need to calm down. Okay. I just need to find a way out and get to the police. 8 a.m. 
I hope this time is wrong. An antique painting. A uh, bit. An antique painting showing a pink flower. Damn it, it's locked from the inside. That's, you mean locked from the outside? Guess I'll have to find another way out. Ooh. Some doctor's papers. Uh, someone here must have been in the hospital. Okay. Can I get a. Oh! Yeah, I guess I was right. I'm inside the vent. Let's go. I can't see down there. Drop a coin. Not yet. I want to explore a little bit down here just to be on the safe side. Because... You don't, here, I'm also going to do this. They always say save often, but... I just want to make sure that I'm not going to fuck myself over. Okay. A bathroom? Doesn't look like it's being used. Hope this means I'm not far from the exit. It's a fuse box. Uh, it's a photo of Nancy. Looks dated. A bunch of doctor's papers. I see some information on a miscarriage. Please don't tell me she kidnapped me just to find a uh, find herself a man. If that's what the plot of this damn thing is, dude. <laughs> this better not be what the plot of this whole thing is. She kidnaps a man just so she could find herself a husband and have a, uh, have a kid. Oh, Tim, uh, I couldn't be any happier uh, about our new boy. What the fuck? He sure is handsome. Young feller, ain't he? Boy, are they talking about me? And with the softest head of hair I've seen, almost like James's hair. Uh, I think James was already plural, so you didn't have to do uh, James's. James would have been, I think, uh, sufficed. They told me that there's a lot of, like, misspellings and all this other shit, but they did to the best of ability. I know there's going to be, like, intentional fuck-ups, I think is what they told me. So, yeah. <laughs> James' hair. Uh, almost like James' hair. Uh, when he was a child. Uh, holy shit. These guys are psycho. Wait. Who's James? Is he here too? Is he like them? I need to get the hell out of here. Oh shit. What was that? Yeah. I... So I can't fight. Hmm. Guess I was just hearing things. Nancy? That was too close. I need to get out of here.
These papers date from years ago, about multiple miscarriages. Is she infertile? This must be referring to Nancy. Is this why she's trying to keep me hostage? They want me to be their son? Oh shit! Motherfucker got me. Uh, unlock the unlock the door with the key and go right. I'm in the next room. Please, I need your help. So go right. So you're in the next door over. You must be James. Are you the one that came in the middle of the night asking for directions? Uh, yeah. So you knew why they're keeping you here? Aside from me being, uh... Aside from them being batshit crazy? Not really. I know I heard them calling someone their son. And them somewhat describing me. I also heard them talking about someone named James. Is that you? I am. So will it make you Frank? Right? Uh, right. So you were kidnapped as well? No, I'm their child. Well, not bi uh, not their biological one anyway. My mom, the woman you met, has had issues with miscarriages for years, but after years of trying, she uh, she gave birth to me. Although there, uh, although there were still complications, I was born with a spinal muscular uh, anth uh, ant uh, atrophy. I can't talk. I'm sorry. Atrophy, I should say. Yeah, I think it's right. Atrophy. Uh, when I was born, which pretty much leaves me in a weakened state. Tim, my father, being as old-fashioned as he is, didn't want a weak son to carry on the family line. So they tried to have another son, but it never worked. When they had me, the doctors said that due to complications in childbirth, my mom would no longer be able to have any more kids. That seemed to eat away at Tim. He began to spend more time away from me and mom. When he was around, he would lock me in my room and do even worse to mom after a while. Uh, this became the norm for uh, this became the norm for us. By the time I was in my teens, he started spending more time in his workshop. I never knew what he was doing. Mom always said he was ha uh, that his happy place and I can't talk never disturb uh, he was in his happy place and to never disturb him when he was in there one day he came to dinner with a smile on his face and told mom he had no I uh, he had an idea uh, he was sent to bed uh, I was sent to bed early after dinner they uh, went to the workshop curiosity getting to the better of me I snuck down there to eavesdrop on them and that's when I heard Tim say that they were going to hold someone here and train them to be the perfect son. And sadly, I think that's you. Jeez. Listen, I know you don't know me, but I think I have a plan to get us out of here. Us? Yes. I don't want to be here anymore, and I'm sure you don't either. Why can't we just go out the door? Have you seen what Tim has done to the uh, to this house? He has this place locked down. But I uh, but I do know where I can find. Sorry, but I do know where we can find the keys to get the door. Am I still recording? Yeah, I'm still recording. Twenty three minutes in. Okay. You see me being here, uh, you see, me being here all my life, I've been keeping an eye for ways to get out of here. 
and I finally got a plan to get out. There's uh, but there's no way I'm going to be able to get it uh, be able to do it by myself. That's where you come in. And uh, if it will get me out of here, then I'm all ears. Good. In front of the door. All right. In the front door. I say in the front door. Bleh, I'm sorry. The front door has two has a two way lock, meaning it can be locked from both sides along with an attached lock on top. Now, Tim has taken your car keys. Tim, uh, now, sorry, Tim has taken your car keys. Tim being Tim, he has more than likely put them in his workshop. So all you have to do is go to Tim's workshop, get your keys, and I have the location of where the door key is. That, uh, it will be hard to explain. It would be hard to explain. He said heard. Hard. It'd be hard to explain where they will be, so I will draw you a rough map of where they would be. If you would uh, be so kind, grab the notebook. By, uh, grab my notebook by my bed. Dang, James's notebook. Thanks. Give me a moment. Here you are drawn map uh, the room has a green check uh, the room has a green check is the uh, is the kitchen I can't talk. the room that has a green check is the kitchen that's where I've seen the first key for the door and the green dot is where you are I'll just need you to go to the kitchen and search around for the key. And when you get it, report back here and I'll give you the location of the second key. Why not give me the location of the other key and I'll get both while I'm out? That's, uh, then what's to stop you from leaving without me? I can barely walk, let alone fight. So I couldn't make it far on my own. So you need. Uh, so when you come back, I'll give you the second location. That's it. I'll give you the second location of the second key, and I'll be leaving with you. All right, fair enough. To the map. Okay, but, uh, press escape. Or I could just do this. Press X. Okay, so. purpose of everything I need to okay wait yeah just so you, uh, you can't just go grab the key Nancy is gonna be around cleaning and if she catches you she will let Tim know and Tim will always usually hang out in his room so I wouldn't roam too much. Okay, thanks for the heads up. This is where he is. I'm not sure if you guys can uh, see my mouse, but the green dot is where he is. I just went from basically leaving the room to go far left. And I need to come back. This is the dining room. Right. A note written by Nancy. It's about a girl from medieval times. Interesting. Oh, shit.
Oh, fuck. Okay, all I had to do was wait. That was terrifying. This is the drug tea I had last night. I can't believe she. I, I can't believe I trusted her. Oh, I found it. You obtained first key. Okay, so going back there. Okay, so we're already here. Organized car bolts, different size wrenches, nothing else. A bunch of miscellaneous car parts, and it's empty. Drawer one. Where is this? Organized screws. Found it. Attain. Uh, item attained. Car keys. <clears throat> An ordinary printer. It just seems. Uh, it seems like it's been used daily. Okay. Again with saving. I got the car keys. Any idea? Any ideas for the second key? I got something in mind. Um, the only problem is going to require you to be quick and stealthy. Uh, <clears throat> so the power in the place is fairly odd, and with that. It tends to cut off randomly, uh, sometimes cut off randomly. If you go to the fuse box in the basement where, uh, if you go to the fuse box where, uh, where the basement is and throw the main switch, it should turn off the power. Tim will have to leave his room in order to fix it. That's when you sneak upstairs and get, uh, get the second key. How am I gonna see, uh, how am I gonna see when the power goes out? I was getting to that. Here, take this. I'm obtained. Flashlight. Okay, this will do fine. I will mark the basement on your map. Here's, uh, and here's Tim's room. Okay. Okay, the green check is the basement. Red check is Tim's room. Alright, I got this. Good luck, Frank. Ooh, okay. Flip the switch. Here goes nothing. Okay, so he's fixing it. Fuck. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Get you and me both! Better start using the flashlight he gave me. See. Come on.
How could you have so many drawers? No, Tim is more likely going to check on me. I better get back to my room and quickly. Bro, I locked the door. Sorry about the power edge, it happens every now and then. Shit, shit, that was close! I gotta tell James I got the key. Okay. Did you get the second key? I got it, but barely. Oh my god, I can't believe you did it. You did it, Frank. I can't believe it myself. I'm... I'm actually getting out of here. <laughs> I've been here all my life wondering what it's like to be a normal human being. Seeing people on TV, go, uh, getting to go to work, go, uh, go to parties, get to have friends. And I'm finally about to experience that. Save the talk for uh, when we're out of here. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. You're fine. Let's just get out of here. Wait, I have one more thing to tell you. Don't tell me you're going to fuck me over. Well, Tim has a shotgun upstairs in his room. If something happens... This will be a last resort. Shotgun key. You really couldn't give this to, uh, give it to me this earlier. We don't need anyone to die. Plus, we're already done. Uh, right. Check if the coast is clear real quick. Uh, check if the coast is clear right quick. And then we're out of here. No problem. Okay, I got a shotgun key. Why am I getting nervous? Where's your car, Frank? It's in the front gate at the end of the road. Just keep close. Okay, sorry, I'm just nervous. Yeah, I am too, dipwad. Wait, Frank! I forgot my journal. No! You gotta be shitting me. I mean... I guess I'll just wait. He's gonna he's gonna betray me, isn't he? Jeez, should I be worried? Oh god, no James! Leave or save James. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> so I decided to leave! Alright, what I'm gonna do is... 
I, I want to save him, so let's go back to the title. Continue game. And we'll load the file back. And see what happens after we do that. This is not good. It's in his room for a shotgun. Oh wait, shotgun key, that's what this is, I think this is it, I am obtained, Tim shotgun, leave without ammo, no I don't want to leave without the ammo, be a salesman just Tim shoes Nancy shoes empty for one just some socks organized uh, dresses deodorant and ammo okay shotgun ammo good Okay. Yeah, see, like, I don't know why I'm so nervous about all this. Do you know it? <laughs> Let him go, Tim. Unless you want your damn brain splat all over the wall, I suggest you listen! Let's just go, Frank. Move back. Sorry. Okay. Thank God we didn't have to, uh, Use the shotgun, but I got a free shotgun and a, and some ammo to go along with it. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't follow, Frank. Be sure to wait for me. You coming or what, Dipwad? Get the hell out of here. And that was it. As crazy as this experience was for me, and James managed to get out. Frankly, I'm glad I decided to threaten and not shoot him, uh, knowing he to die. Well, we went, uh, well, we went outside. I can't talk. Sorry. Well, when we went outside, we got, uh, we got in the car as fast as we could and drove the hell out of there. First, uh, first place we went was the police and reported Tim and Nancy. And I now wish, uh, now I wish I could say my story has the stereotypical happy ending with both of them behind bars, but no such luck. 
As soon as the police got there, the house was already engulfed in flames among any proof that we had been, uh, among with any proof of what we had been through. What's more is the police never found Tim or Nancy, so they're still out there. Now, without any sun, and no way for them to carry out their blood, uh, carry out their bloodline, I know they may try again, but this time, I'm glad I wasn't there. Surrogate. Okay, I like that. I like that. You know, I'm gonna give it a <laughs> round of applause. Written by Logan S. and Levi F. Main theme by Jared Y. Okay. Art by Logan S. Yep. Voice of James, Jared uh, Y. I don't know why I couldn't hear his voice, so I was uh, doing all the uh, voice acting. Uh, Logan S. Sounds by Logan and, uh, Logan S. and Jared Y. Scripting by Logan S. Mm -hmm. Credit music by Jared Y. Special thanks to the Audi for a ton of inspiration. Crex Games. Okay, I really enjoyed that story. I really enjoyed that. I wonder what happens. All right, so here, hold on. I wanna, uh, I wanna leave and see what happens after that. I wanna go back and see what happens after I just leave without them. As much to my, uh, as much uh, to my dismay, I hate the fact that I'm leaving James behind. But I want to see what happens when I do just leave him behind and get the hell out of here. Motherfucker just speeds off. Okay. <laughs> as crazy as my experience was, I managed to get out of there as fast as I can. Drove the hell out of there. Okay. Okay, so it's still the same story. I actually really enjoyed that. I don't know what you were so worried about, Vito. I actually enjoyed that. Other than all those, uh, some of the misspellings and grammar errors, I actually enjoyed that command remember oh, well. well guys that was it for this little short gameplay here if you guys enjoyed this video please remember to burn the hell that like button Comment down below what you think of the video and share with your friends. Subscribe to become part of my demonic army. And as always, stay loyal my underlings. <laughs>